Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to make a DC current meter with simple materials and you can make it at home. Okay, let's see how it works. The principle of, of operation is simple. Here we have a coil that is used some wire wound around a cylindrical form and when we apply a current to the coil, a magnet is formed, an electromagnet. The magnetic field goes from one side of the coil and to the other side. We will have a north pole and a south pole or vice versa depending on the polarity of the battery. Now, here we have a magnet which also has a north pole and a south pole. Therefore, when the coil is energized, the magnet will try to align with the magnetic field of the coil. If the magnet is not aligned, it will rotate until it is aligned with the magnetic field of the coil. This little magnet has a piece of metal, so it is bottom heavy and will remain semi-vertical. Now, let me apply current to the coil and see what happens. You can see how the magnet rotates to remain horizontal. Without the field, the magnet returns to its rest position. Let's see again. It is aligned with the magnetic field of the coil and now returns to its position. Okay, now the magnet rotates some or uh, some quantity. Now it is rotating until it is horizontal, but the deflection depends on two things. On the intensity of the magnetic field of the coil, which in turn depends on the current that is circulating. That is the reason that we can use it to measure the current and also depends on the weight of the magnet. With those two parameters, we can control the deflection of the needle. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Here we can see the mechanism. Here is the magnet. It is free to rotate and there is a little coil, six turns of magnet wire, and I have this piece of wood that acts as a needle to indicate the current. It is fixed to the axis where the magnet is mounted, and there is a little weight here in order to maintain the needle in the vertical position. Now, let me connect the power supply. And when you turn on the power supply, the needle moves, indicating that we have a current circulating through the coil. Now we can make a scale by putting some known current through the device and marking on the paper the value of that current. Let's try first with 5 amps. Now with 4 amps.
and we continue with 3, 2 and 1 amp. Now we have a scale that gives an indication of the current when we connect a load in series with the meter. Of course, this device is not very precise. It is just a demonstration of how this type of meter works and also to show the effects of magnetism that play a role in this type of instrument. You can modify it, for example, to measure uh, smaller currents. You need to use a coil with more, more, more number of turns because with more turns you have a higher magnetic field with the same current. Therefore, the needle will move using less current. Also, you can make it uh, with less weight in order to be easier to move the needle. So, there you have it. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.